Welcome to Physiomedics. In this video, we will discuss ways to slow down the progression of osteoarthritis. What is osteoarthritis? Osteoarthritis is a disease in which the cartilage between the bones of your joints break down, leading to swelling, pain, and stiffness. Joint injury, obesity, and aging are some important osteoarthritis risk factors. More than 32 million adults in the United States are affected by osteoarthritis at any given time and many of these individuals often wonder if it's possible to reverse osteoarthritis. So the question is that, is it possible to reverse osteoarthritis? Well, you can't reverse osteoarthritis, but you can manage the condition and slow its progression down. However, it's important you talk with your doctor first before trying any new treatments, remedies or supplements. This is because certain products and medications can interact with each other, causing side effects. The scientific community is studying treatment options for osteoarthritis and researchers are searching for ways to reverse this condition until dead. Research is successful. There are ways to slow down the progression of osteoarthritis. Ways to slow down the progression of osteoarthritis. Some ways you can slow down the progression of this disease are number one, watch your nutrition. A healthy diet that delivers sufficient nutrients, vitamins, and minerals is essential for the health of your joints. A plant based whole food diet focused on fresh vegetables, fruits, legumes, and grains might help ease your osteoarthritis symptoms. Number two, Exercise regularly. Exercise can help manage osteoarthritis. Exercising regularly can help ease your pain, swelling, and stiffness and may also help slow down the disease progression. Many health professionals suggest you incorporate moderate to rigorous intensity activity, a minimum of 150 minutes per week into your routine. It's also recommended to include various forms of activity in a routine workout program such as stretching to decrease stiffness, strength training to help build up your muscles, balance exercises to build up your strength, cardio to increase stamina and lower weight. While walking is a common physical activity recommended for osteoarthritis, there is no consensus regarding an ideal exercise protocol for all people with osteoarthritis. It's more important you find a workout routine that will work for you and you may wish to hire a personal trainer to help you with this. Research has shown that supervised workout programs for osteoarthritis are more efficient than unsupervised workout programs. Number 3. Control your blood sugar. High blood glucose levels accelerate the formation of specific molecules with a higher sensitivity to mechanical stress and are responsible for making cartilage stiffer. Cartilage loss can be the result of systemic inflammation triggered by diabetes. The recently identified connection between joint damage and diabetes may help provide an explanation why more than 50% of people in the United States who have received a diabetes diagnosis also have arthritis. Number 4. Incorporate chondroprotective nutrients in your diet. You find these in common spices and foods. They are thought to help protect your joints and cartilage and include ginger, pomegranate, compounds extracted from green tea turmeric, proceps, phytoflavonoids, polyphenols, and bioflavonoids found in these foods may improve mobility. They are also showing promise in slowing down the progression of osteoarthritis. However, although several nutrients are claimed to be chondroprotective such as chondroitin and glucosamine, their use has been supported. In addition, due to the possibility of interaction between supplements and other medicines, you will want to speak with your doctor before you try any chondroprotective nutrients. Number 5. Protect your joints While you can't avoid all injuries, protecting your joints is important to ensure your osteoarthritis doesn't progress any faster than necessary. Use your strongest, largest joints to lift and carry objects and take breaks as often as you need at work or home. It's important to maintain a healthy body weight which will help protect against further damage to your joints. Number 6. Support your joints. Supportive joint care can help you manage the symptoms of arthritis. There are various types of supportive joint care often used for this purpose. These include canes, wraps, shoe inserts, braces, walkers. A professional should fit devices like these to ensure their effectiveness is maximized. 
there are also assistive devices designed to help you perform some home-based tasks like cleaning or cooking. For instance, there are special utensils with grips to make them easier for you to hold on to. You will also find other devices such as button aids, zipper pulls, and rails. Number 7. Make healthy lifestyle choices. We can change certain osteoarthritis risk factors. For example, you are more likely to develop osteoarthritis when you get older, likely because of how many cartilage cells just diminish over time. Another factor thought to play a role in developing osteoarthritis is lower estrogen levels in women after menopause. As more women than men seem to develop the disease after the age of 50, some individuals also inherit genes that make them more likely to develop the condition. Because of risk factors like these, it's important that you make healthy lifestyle choices. Exercise, diet, managing stress, sleep, smoke, and alcohol consumption may have a significant influence on your joints and overall health. While osteoarthritis is manageable, it is a degenerative disease. If you ignore it, it will become worse over time. Arthritis is a significant reason behind adult disability. Therefore, it's important that you don't hesitate to talk with your doctor about any symptoms you're experiencing. Researchers are continually studying a potential osteoarthritis treatment options and the possibility of its reversion. There's definitely hope for better future treatment alternatives. But in the meantime, the best approach is slowing down the progression of this condition as much as possible.